Don't you love what they actually create, Nick? Uh, Dominic, I mean, uh, yeah, Dominic, 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 okay, Dominic. <laughs> Don't you hate when companies actually create product and going, this is the bomb, this is the best thing since sliced bread, this is so delicious that I'll kill my mother for it. Well, you know what, three quarters of the products that are actually made in cans, unless you're doing the canning yourself, you can bet your bottom dollar that it's the god's awful material on this world. There's uh, some good chicken products. I shouldn't throw out anything in a can because I do use canned goods myself. But I try to pick those that have less uh, ingredients. Like there's, I'm not a big fan of pre-prepared goods that are inside a can in the sense of a meal. The same, similar to this where it's chicken curry made inside a can or canned when you opened it up and you gave us an actual picture of the actual canned item I, I the first thing that came to mind is cat food or dog food and I started going gee let's see raw raw Aussie eating what looks like possibly a Mel Gibson impersonation of uh, the road warrior or Mad Max <laughs> Because there's a, I think it's in the first movie that he did where Mel Gibson actually eats dog food. Uh, that he's sharing between him and his dog. And I'm going, God almighty, is he actually going to go through with it? And then you went through with it and I saw your expression and I went, mm, Okay, everything seems to be going great. Everything seems to, oh God, it's hit him now. <laughs> I am just happy. And elated that you did not decide to upchuck right then and there in front of the camera. For God's sakes, at the very least, you tried it. I, You had courage, and I give you thumbs up for that. And I, I know that it's not going to be available here in my, my quadrant of Canada, so I'm not even going to bother even going to go look for it, because A, I wouldn't eat it. B, I would not be willing to spend money on something I wouldn't eat. So... Mind you, if you had some Canada Dry, it would have actually washed away the taste quite quite easily. Um, there's, there's, uh, can I thought you were actually showing us canned chicken because there is canned chicken you can get that's chicken meat that's prepared and uh, stored in in uh, or packed in agar uh, to keep it from drying out. Um, it's kind of disgusting because you have to heat it up to actually melt. It's basically almost in gelatin, for God's sakes. You, you have to uh, boil it or steam it so that you can loosen up the agar and just take the chicken pieces that you want so that it doesn't taste as disgusting. Um, I used to be a big, uh, big, big fan of certain chicken meats that were available in cans from Costco, which is a local... Well, you guys have... Uh, similar to Sam's. If you have it in Australia, I'm not even sure what, what stores you have available in Australia, but uh, Costco sells bulk and you have to be a member to be able to actually purchase and you have to purchase your membership. Now, the uh, downside to the membership is that it doesn't really do anything for, uh, for more than a year. You have to purchase it every year. The canned chicken itself that they sold was um, Kirkland. And they came in cans that were as as big as well, actually almost as big as my head, big 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 cans. But it was uh, salted meat, uh, not similar to salt pork, but it was salted. They actually uh, seasoned the, the meat. Uh, the only thing is, is that the texture was a little bit weird. But in the pinch, it actually got. Uh, it, we made some pretty decent uh, chicken salads with it. Um, with our choice of dressing or choice of mayo. Anyways, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through it, but it's a lesson learned, I guess. Thank you for showing it to us. I'll make sure that if I'm in your area visiting, I won't go out and buy that product. Have a nice one.